What up, though? It's the one and only Kel. Welcome, everybody. Bike! Bike! To Riding with Kel. Topic for the day. Your DM is not your friend. A lot of drivers believe that as soon as I get down with this company, I get real cool with the DM, I get brownie points, I make more money. When the reality is, the DM really don't give a fuck about you. The DM gives a fuck about what you can do to help their pockets, what you can do to help their company's bottom line. The best thing you should worry about when you're getting on a job like that or when you work in any trucking job is to manage your clock. If your clock management is on point, by default, you're always going to get the best loads. By default, you're always going to be in a position where you're winning. Don't focus on being buddy-buddy with the DM. You get an understanding and a line of communication with the DM. That's bare minimum. Y'all communicate, and that's it. The only thing the DM gives, first of all, you got to remember your number, especially if the company you're working for has a big fleet. You're just a number, like if you're in a big college. You're just a number. The only thing the DM worries about and cares about is did you pick up the money? Did you drop off the money so that I can make money and so that you can make money? It's cut plain simple just like that. It's nothing more, nothing less. Don't put your full trust in your DM. If you're working for a company, now if you got your own company and you got like a girlfriend, a wife, a cousin, a sister that's picking your loads, then that's a different story. But If you're working for a company, it's strictly business. It's strictly business. You're getting to the cake. You're doing what you got to do to make your money. And you got to realize DMs get a percentage off of every load they book for you. So remember that. Your DM is not your friend. Word. Word.